Hey guys, it's Dragon Rockstar here. I'm coming with you guys with a 60 car light torch no update. Now this deck uh, was requested from a few you, few of my subscribers asking uh, if they are if I can um, give them a deck profile as well as the combo video. Now towards the end of the video, I will be showing my combos and showing you um, what hand you need in order to make in a good and established board. Now, for the hands, usually you might not end up drawing the few cards that you need to do the combo. You might have to stall for a little bit to, you know, get into your combo. But that's the price of this deck. Now, also, I tested this deck over a couple weekends that I've been going out and about with my friends and such. And this deck worked pretty well against their decks. Now, I was playing a few meta decks, such as uh, Solomon Greats, Sky Strikers. And I went against one of my friend's True Draco builds, which was different than most True Draco builds, but uh, it was a fun and interesting game. Now, the side deck and the main and the extra deck are different from the from the main deck from my last video. Now, I made one small update to my uh, extra deck, and I made one small update or a couple updates to my uh, side deck. Now, this video will help you guys understand what. What combo, what cards you need in your hand, and such from there. But let's go ahead and get started, right? I'm gonna go with the uh, main deck first with the monsters. Now I believe there's a total of like twenty something spells and um, forty something monsters, but we'll figure it out from there, right, guys? Let's go ahead and get started. Um, for the monsters, like usual, uh, two beasts. Beast is your draw power. Self-explanatory. You only need two. Three is too much. If you do three beast, you're going to end up drawing him more than ever. And then once you mill him during um, uh, uh, mid-game, it's basically somewhat good at some point. Because you might not, like, you might have used all your resources, so it's not really as needed. So I think two is just good enough. Uh, three is Kumana. Now the reason why I run three triple Squamata is because well, you help it helps you get your resources to the graveyard faster. And you want to send your Shadow Monsters to the graveyard so fast because you want to get more more uh, combos and you want to get Shadow Fusion to your hand. Uh, Double Hedgehog, same thing as usual. You want to get uh, Shadow Fusion to your hand as well as El Shadow Fusion because you're only playing one El Shadow Fusion. So you want this to help you search out those cards. Plus, since you're playing Triple Sukumana, you can search out Sukumana with that effect and just get more plays from there. Um, Double Falco. I'm not much of a big fan about Falco, but I do like its mid-game effect where I can uh, set back Beast. I'll use Falco to set back Beast once I already use Beast's effect. That way I can get, um, uh, that way I can end with Beast on my side of the board, and once they get around it or destroy it, I can just... Um, flip beast and get some draws out of this to help me get resources to my hand faster. And then for the last Shadow Monster, I'm playing Shadow Dragon. Now, the reason why you only need to play one is because this is your one MST in the deck, plus is a good, um, once it's uh, flipped, it's a free uh, compulse. So you target the monster and just put it back in your hand. I only like it based on the MST effect. I don't really like it based on the compulse effect because it does target. Uh, same with Skumana. Skumana is uh, a destroyer. What he does is he'll pop a card on the field. Or, should I, or he'll pop a monster on the field once it's flipped. If it's uh, if he's attacked and sent to the graveyard. Or if he's uh, sent to the graveyard by a card effect. Uh, he'll flip. In fact, pop a monster on the board. So it's it's a good effect from there. Like They, they both have good effects. It's just I don't really use them for their flip effects. I use them for their um, their graveyard effects. Um, for the light horns, which is actually kind of big now, uh, with small updates I do every once in a while, but now I can't update the deck for a bit because there's certain combos and certain cards I need to get my hands on. But for the light horns, uh, Triple Raiden, it's your mill four for the turn, but usually it never stays on board for that end phase effect. I usually get more combos just from that. So, Triple Radium, because you want to see it as well. Uh, triple Wolf. The reason why I run Triple Wolf is because it's just a free special summon for the deck. And I want to special summon a lot. 
If Maxi came back to 3, this is just me making this deck a little bit slower because you need to just watch out. And if you want to take the Maxi challenge, be my guest. But that's only if Maxi comes back. Uh, for the 2019 OCG ban list, I am totally surprised and I agree with some of the cards. I also believe that Fairy Tale Snow should come back, but then when I looked at the perspectives of how their format is, it's a self explanatory for us. It's just way more over an advantage for most of their deck for the most of the decks in their format but enough about that let's just keep going for the uh, deck profile uh, for the other lights we're to run <coughs> excuse me there for the other lights we're to run uh double lumina now i would like to try um three lumina as well as the twilight lumina but once i get my hands on another twilight lumina i will test out that engine but for right now double lumina is good uh in my perspective, it works out pretty well. I use her, I recycle her a lot with the link combo effect, and it's just amazing. For me. Like, I use uh, Lumina, discard Lumina to special summon Lumina, and then uh, link away with that uh, Lumina I just used, and just go on from there. Like, it's in, it's an endless recycle of it. Oh, wow. Excuse me there. Um, double Felice is my other double uh, Light Sworn. Uh, Felice is good. I love her because she's just a free special summon as well as a free destruction. Like, she gets around certain things. Plus, she mills a lot more, which you can mill your stalls and get more pluses from there. And then, one Lila. Same thing as Shadow Dragon. You're not running Twin Twisters in the main deck, so Lila and Shadow Dragon is basically your MSTs in the deck. So, I hope you go on from there. Uh, once I get my hands, uh, on a few other lights horns, maybe Arcus and a few others that I like to test out. I will test those decks, those cards out in the deck and see how they work. But for now, I like Lila a lot more. Plus, she's the end phase, so she knows three, so I like it based on that too. Um, for the plan engine, I'm running triple Carplant Scorpio, one Cobra, and the one Glow Ball. Now this has net hasn't been updated lately, so I haven't. Like, I haven't updated this engine lately because I think, don't think that this engine needs to be updated. It's self explanatory based on what they do and everything. Um, Scorpio helps you search out Cobra, which is the one with Garnet. Basically, the brick of the deck. And Glow Up Bold is just a free MS, like a free uh, mill one card and a special summon. Or it can be for your Nap Beast, which is the small update I've done for the extra deck. Um, Triple Scorpio is. I like Scorpio and I've. I've been asked many times, why don't I use Prayer Plant, or not Prayer Plant, uh, Lone Fire Blossom. The reason why I don't use Lone Fire Blossom is because um, it can sometimes be dead once you lose both of these. So say if you mill all three, which has happened before, I milled all three based on uh, the mill engine of, of my aspect, and then I drew both of these in one hand a couple times. Uh, there's been times where I drew two uh, Prayer Plant over Scorpios. And then the Culpra the next turn. Like, it, 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 this has been times when that's happened. Lone Fire Blossom is good, but you'll go through all your plants within minutes. So I figured that, um, I'll only play three of these guys and no Lone Fire Blossom. Back then, when Fairy Tale Snow was live, I was only playing two of these, one of this, and one of this. But I feel that, um, Triple Player Punk Scorpio is, should be. How it is because um also brilliant fusion there's only one copy so it's most often like dead if you already used it already so the engine will be dead by the time you already use it so it's kind of i don't think the lone fire blossom is needed um for the small clown engine i play one juggler double hat tricker and one trick clown the ocg plan list finally got this guy at three and if the tcg ban list gets this at three this deck will be running a lot a lot beautifully, like a lot, a lot, way better than I thought it'd be because I'll be running three hat trickers. This would be the small update I'll keep doing to it. I want to run three hat trickers, but I don't have enough search targets to search out the hat trickers for that effect. Plus, Trick Clown's good to search off with uh, damage juggler, so I'm definitely gonna bring up Trick Clown the two as well. So, this should just be some more nifty little combos I test out, but that's how you run for the clown engine. Uh, for like a little spicy tech, I do. Like with this deck is Disturdo. I run this at two because more often at three, I always 
um, uh, seen more than one in my hand, and I didn't like that. So I like running it at two because it's, uh, it's a free special summon, yes, but you can only use this effect once per turn. It's a hard once per turn, so meaning that as soon as you use this effect for the turn, and you draw the other, you can't use that one's effect. So it's basically, like, sometimes it can become a dead card in your hand. But you do want to send it to the graveyard and get more card effects, depending on what you have in your hand, depending on what you have on your board. But the Cerdo is good Black Rose play and things of that nature. Like, it's a free get-around get board. Like, it helps you get around certain things. Uh, for the boss monsters, to be exact, one damage juggler. Or, not damage. One judge dragon. Sorry about that, guys. I, it's early in the morning for me right now. Uh, I run one da or one judgment dragon. The reason I run judgment dragon in the deck because it's just a, during mid game. If the game has lasted that long, judgment dragon is a free special summon and get nuke the board. So it helps you get around certain card effects and it helps you get rid of all these all the cards on the board, so that way you can get a fresh new start. So I, I figured judgment dragon would be very useful in this deck. Um, then for the uh, chaos version of the deck, I want one Chaos Dragon, Lemon Air, and double Black Lotus Soldier on Voided Beginnings. Now, the reason why I run double Black Lotus Soldier on Voided Beginning instead of three is because I feel that it's not needed. And plus, if you draw this uh, first turn, yes, it's good to draw it when you first start off, but it's sometimes not needed. Um, there's been points where I drew, uh, when I was playing this at three, there was points where I drew two in hand and a bunch of spells and didn't really do well. Uh, but there's been points where I run around double Chaos Levin Air. So I might end up taking out Judgment Dragon to put another Chaos Levin Air. But I haven't thought of that just yet. Once I get my hands on another Chaos Dragon Levin Air, I might end up taking Black Ops of Soldier out completely and maybe run three Chaos Dragon Levin Air. Because Chaos Dragon Levin Air is much more stronger than Black Ops of Soldier in my opinion. Plus it has an amazing effect in my opinion as well. I love its effect because it could just, you can get around boards and you can get around certain card effects. Um, for the rest of the monsters, I run double Goblinberg. Now I run two Goblinberg because it just helps get two more bodies on the board for Hat Tricker to get its effects or many other card effects to get their effects. Plus it helps you with Link Potter as well. Uh, uh, and Goblinberg is a good monster in general, so I'm starting to play that too. Um, one revival goal. Now, this card is amazing. No matter what people say, I will never probably cut this guy out whatsoever because I like its effect because it because it, it's a free special summon on the board, as well as it could be a discard fodder for like your Luna plays, uh, your private plays, and things like that nature. So that's the reason why I play it there. And then the one Garnet for the uh, second brick of the deck. Uh, Garnet's Garnet. You only need to play one. Um, for the spell cards, I run Triple Charge Light Brigade. Uh, triple Charge Light Brigade, self-explanatory. It's a light one deck. You need to run three. Uh, it's a, it helps search out your light ones faster. Um, triple Solar Recharge because it's draw power. And in this light swarm build, you are running a lot more light swarms, such as like Raiden at three. Um, so I feel that Solar Recharge is really nifty. Because sometimes you draw the right in and you don't really need the right in your hand. And you figure that you could probably get some draw powers and probably draw another one. So I like tr playing triple solar recharge because of that. Um, for the fusion spell cards, or the polymerizations and stuff like that, I run triple shell fusion. One L shell fusion. One brilliant fusion. And one super polymerization. Now, triple triple Sardal fusion is really needed in the deck because you are playing a sixty card deck, and then you are also playing one spell card that could get rid of those by accident. So, triple solar recharge is. I mean, so I'm tired, guys. So, excuse me on this. Triple Shadal fusion is really needed in the deck because. You also want to see it when you're going second, because once your opponent gets a link monster on the board, they will have to choose to negate this or something else, which you're more often going to bait them out with something else, and then play this, and then go up with your cards from there. Uh, Brilliant Fusion's good out uh, because it's at one. Um, 
the reason why I'm playing only one El Shadow Fusion because I don't have my hands on a second one or two, like two more of these. I will be playing maybe two or three of these no matter what because this card is really useful in certain times. And I would like to get my hands on more. Uh, and then one Super Poly because it's, it's Super Poly and you only need it at one. Like, it, if it came back off of Vanless to maybe more than one, I'll be surprised. Um, for the rest of the draw power of the deck, I run Triple Pot of Desires. Now, only once have I drawn Desires off of Desires. That's only happened once in a mid-game turn. But Desire is good in certain points, and Desires is amazing. It's a, it's a pot of greed in the deck. Back in the day, I was hesitant on running this card, but now I figure that this card is really needed and very useful. Um, I run double Laura Darkness. Now, the reason why I only run two Laura Darkness is because I feel that three is not really needed. Plus, you are running a small amount of darks in the deck, or a decent amount of darks in the deck, so Laura could be useful. And it's, it helps you draw through your... It, it's a draw power card. It helps you uh, ditch the one card you don't need in your hand, if it's a dark, and it helps you go out for more combos. For the one-ups, I run run re one reinforcement to the army, one foolish burial, and one monster reborn. These are all spe uh, essentials for the deck, and it's all explanatory. Like reinforces army helps you search out Raiden, Goblinburg, some other like some of the best warriors in the deck. Foolish helps you get. It's just it's just a free card to help you get what you need in the graveyard. And monster reborn is just a free special summon that helps you go on more combos. Uh, I feel I feel that uh, Monster Born will be the only card I probably won't take it out, but the rest I might to test out more different combos. But that's it for the main deck. Uh, let's go for our, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go for more of the extra deck, and then I'm gonna go for the side deck. Uh, for the uh, extra deck, yeah, I'm gonna go for the extra deck. For the extra deck, I, I play the same basics. Uh, one L shell or El Shadal Construct, one El Shadal uh, Shinkiri, or Shinkari, however you pronounce that guy's name, uh, two El Shadal Windows. Uh, these are all the Shadal monsters you really need for the extra deck. Uh, Winda is sometimes, I'll end up uh, summoning one of them to go for link combos, so he's there because I just link away with him sometimes. There's been times where I summon, summon El Shadal Shinkira, if that's how you pronounce his name, and I link away with him because he's an earth target to help go for Curious and go from there. There's been times where I've done that. And then Construct, I've done the same thing with Construct as well. I go for Curious a lot more uh, because I do run a decent amount of earths and I run a decent amount of lights. So I use him for link fodder, fodder sometimes. And there's been boards where I've summoned uh, El Shadal Winda uh, by herself with a bunch of other monsters as well as Nightmare Griffin. Um, but these are all the uh, Shadal sh fusions that you really need for the extra deck. And then for the only one fusion monster, the last fusion monster is one Gemini Seraph Knight for the Brown Fusion. Um, for the Synchros, which has been one little update, is one Naturi Beast. Now, the reason why I'm playing Naturi Beast now is because due to the fact um, there's been times in, where I needed another uh, negation for spell spell fodder. So Naturi Beast was my only nifty card for that. Plus, the surprising thing is, once Naturi Beast activates its effect by sending the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, uh, your Shadow monsters can activate all based off of Naturi Beast. And I didn't know that, and I didn't understand that at first, and then I realized now. This is very useful for that. Uh, for the level 7s, is one Black Rose Dragon and one F.A. Don Draxter. Now, Black Rose... Dragon is really nifty because you could go for Disturdo to summon it. You can go for Lumina to summon it. It helps get rid of those cards that you don't really like on the board. And then F.A. Dawn Dragster is just a free just negation for any spell or traps. So you have uh, two spell and trap negators in the extra deck. And then for the only eight I run the uh, the only synchro eight I run for the uh, extra deck is one Boiler Savage Dragon. Jesus Christ, can this card pull it in work? This card is amazing no matter what. This is the god tier card. I, I love this card. Like, I, I, I really... I, I think this card is really useful. 
for certain combos and for for certain uh, against certain decks. It it can help you win games out of nowhere. It's just an amazing card to have in the deck. Um, for the Xes, and I only run two Xes. I run one Minerva. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I have this Minerva not, not in the main deck is because this was autographed and signed for the Asian Persuasion. So please show some love to him. Uh, Asian Persuasion was there at the YCS 200, as you can see here. Uh, thanks to him, he signed my Minerva. I was getting, I was gonna ask him to sign my other Minervas, but I didn't have them at the time, so I would have almost every single Minerva signed by him. He's the Lightsworn King, so he gave me, he he's the one that gave me ideas to play Lightsworns for. Think I'm done. Uh, thanks to him, I only run one Minerva to the extra deck. Because you only need one for the extra deck for now. There's going to be times where you're going to run maybe one or more. Uh, based on your guys' opinions, you guys can run two Minervas if needed. But for the other XE I run in the extra deck is one Exiton Knight. Exiton Knight has won me many games, and I'm glad for that. Uh... Thanks to him, he's won me a couple games, and Minerva has won me a couple games as well. Both of these guys has won me games, and I agree that both of them are needed for the extra deck. You could argue that Exodon Knight needed, needs to be another Minerva for more uh, mill effects and more card effects, but I feel that Exodon Knight is really needed that, because there's mid-game sometimes where you end up having a hard time against someone's board, and you can just go on from there. Uh, I've actually had one time where a friend attacks my Exiton Knight and didn't know its effect, and I used his effect to nuke the whole board. And Exiton Knight survived the battle phase because of that. Um, for the Link Fodders, or the Link Monsters and such like that, I run the one Curious for the only Link 3. Uh, Curious is very useful in the deck. Uh, there's been times where I do want to run two of them. <laughs> but really, you only need one for the whole deck period. Uh, I like it because it's just a free send send something to the graveyard to get more resources, and it, it, it's it's just it's a very useful card. Plus, when you send cards from your deck to the graveyard, it gets this effect to send more card, more additional cards to the graveyard. So it's just amazing. Um, for the link fours, which there's uh, a bunch of them, I run one Nightmare Griffin. Nightmare Griffin is very amazing. It helps you reset cards. Plus, with the uh, side deck here, you have many cards to reset and on there. Also, it's just it, it helps prevent monster effects that aren't linked. It just helps negate those. So I love Nightmare Griffin because of that. Um, for the linked big link fours is one Sayuja Skulldred and one Boiler Dragon. Now the reason why I run both of these two is because of their effects. Um, Sayuja is basically, uh, it, it's amazing for me. It's a, f it's just your draw power. It, it, it helps you get what you need to your hand faster. I love it because of that. And then one Boiler Dragon. The reason why I run Boiler Dragon is not because, um, uh, because it's cheaper than Borosaur Dragon. I know a lot of people are going to probably comment that down below. But the reason why I run Boiler Dragon in here is because of the link pointers. I don't have, I don't want an arrow pointing up. Because I want Nightmare Griffin. Sometimes I'll end the board with Nightmare Griffin here. And then have a, a monster here. And then a monster here. So there's been times where I, ha want, I have that type of board. So I have Nightmare Griffin here for that reason. Uh, and since I don't want to arrow point to my opponent because of Nightmare Griffin's effect. So that's the reason why I run uh, Boiler Dragon. And that's it for the extra deck. Uh, for the side deck, I run Double Droll and Lockbird for the monsters. For one of the monsters I run in my side deck. Droll and Lockbird is really good and against certain matchups. And extremely good against a lot of other decks. So I love Droll and Lockbird because of that. It's also amazing against Danger, Danger Thunder Dragons, Danger anything, period. You play this against Danger anything. Any deck that runs dangerous, you play this against them, it stops them for the turn. That way you can go on with your combos and your card effects and see what you can do there. Uh, triple Dino, Dino Wrestler Pranquitops. The reason why I run him is because it's a free get rid of problematic cards. Like I, I love it because of that. That's the only thing I would pretty much really... That's the only reason why I run this guy is because he helps get around certain card effects. 
uh, for the spell cards, I run Triple Twin Twister as well as Triple Claw by the Graves. Now, the reason why I run these two is because um, Twin Twister helps get around, uh, get rid of back row. And in this deck, you do not like back row. That's the reason why I run Lila, uh, Shadal Dragon, and Twin Twisters, as well as another card in my um, extra deck here. I run all these guys because I don't like back row and I don't like traps. I don't like all these um, these floodgates running around that can stop you for your turn. Call by the Grave is good because uh, the reason why I don't main deck Call by the Grave because there's usually where I just want more combo cards in my main deck. And usually I'll side deck some of the combo cards for this so that way I can still continue my combo. Call by the Grave is very useful in certain extents, but I don't feel that it was needed into the main deck. Um, there's just the other card I've talked about with the Twin Twisters. I run Triple Red Reboot, as well as the one Imperial Order. Now, these are also more back row hate. Uh, Imperial Order is not, like, considered as back row hate, but I feel it's really needed. Um, the reason why I run Imperial Order here, uh, is because I don't like, uh, Sky Strikers as much, and this is the reason why sometimes I'll win against Sky Strikers, because they're, uh, spell effects. But sometimes I'll end up in another board with Naturia Beast and such, and uh, I get gained because of that. Same with Imperial Order. Uh, Sky Strikers can't really go, get around Imperial Order unless they have the proper cards to do so. Sometimes they don't. And there's been one one time where I ended up with Imperial Order on the board as well as Nightmare Griffin. With Interior Beast. Making them where they can't really do a lot more card effects. Triple Rubber Boot because it's just... It, 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 it stops traps. So yeah. That's it for the main deck, extra deck, and side deck. But like I said, I will go for combos to show you guys. So give me one moment to uh, get what I'm, show you guys what you need in your hand at certain points, which will be uh, the main cards that you need in your hand, which will be, uh, let's see, where are they? You need either Prior Plus Scorpio, um, and it should have fusion as well as one other monster. So let's put let's just put another monster in my hand. So let's say I had maybe um Disturdo. Now these are the main cards you want to see in your hand when you're either going first or second. It doesn't matter if you're going uh if you're going first, you're gonna pretty much end up with a decent board. If you're going second, uh it's amazing because it should all fusion. Uh Prior Plant or Scorpio will get you another monster to your hand. That way you can go up with more certain card effects. Now, what you're going to need is Prior Plant Scorpio. So let's just, we're going to normal summon Prior Plant Scorpio. And we'll push these down a little bit. We're going to normal summon Prior Plant Scorpio and activate its effect Oxley to ditch out uh, Disturdo. So you're going to ditch out Disturdo to the graveyard. And you're going to special summon uh, Prior Plant Hormone. Cobra. This will still be in your hand by the time. But you're going to special summon Pro Plant or for Scorpio. Activate effect to add Burning Fusion to your hand. Uh, one thing is, uh, say that you're going second, right? You're going to activate Shadow Fusion. And you're going to send. You're going to send Wolf, as well any Shadow card you currently want to send. So personally, right now, I'll probably want to send uh, El Shadow uh, Hedgehog and get El Shadow Hedgehog's effects to add El Shadow Fusion to my hand. I'm going to shuffle the deck here just a little bit. Uh, that way you can special summon, and you get Wolf's effect. To special summon, then you get contracts effect to special summon as well. So let's go to down just a tiny bit more. This is usually when you want to try to get, and then you link away with all this. So, like I said, prior plant over Scorpio and Shaw Fusion, as well as any monster you can discard. So it doesn't matter if you're discarding Disturdo or uh. Trick Clown, Damage Juggler, uh, you can even discard Raiden and still get some effects off of there because you might end up getting more draw power. But let's do like a test in and see if we draw those top four or top uh, 
right there. And which, and then I'm gonna uh, let's work out a hand. I'm gonna do one test stand for you guys. But like I said, you only really need a uh, product plant over Scorpio. Another monster to discard, doesn't matter what it is, as well as Shadal Fuge. Once you get those three to your hand, you can do a certain card effects in a certain turn. Like you you can establish what good good extremely good board. Give me a moment. So let's draw our top fives. So you gotta draw that, 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 that. Which you draw two parts or one part of your actual engine. Shell fusion you can search out as well with Proclet. So the main cards you really wanted to have is a monster to discard, as well as Proclet or Risk Scorpio. Now, you don't have a lot of search engine for Proplant or for Scorpio, but really what you need for the combo is Proplant or for Scorpio. So, since we draw Goblin Bird, we're going to normal summon Goblin Bird, Goblin Bird's effect to switch to defense mode. This pressure summon uh, Proplant or for Scorpio, so we're going to do it like this. Then Proplant or for Scorpio, you're going to ditch one of these three, so I'm going to send uh, Squamata to the graveyard. Um, two special summons. So let's get. Where are you, my man? We got. Where is he? Proto plants, Cobra. Where are you, my man? Oh, wow. He's almost all the way to. Yep, he's on to the top. He's close to the top. There's Proto plant. Uh, Ulfra Scorpio. Or, I mean, Cobra. But the thing is, you get Shoe Chains. You get Shadal Squamata's effect as well as Cobra's effect. Now, those of you are probably going to be commenting down below. No, you don't get Shadal Squamata's effect whatsoever because the product, um, Cobra gets his effect first. No, that's been different. Uh, Squamata's effect activates when it's sent to the graveyard by a card effect. And Product Plant, uh, well, for Scorpio, sends a card from your hand to the graveyard, meaning you can get Shadal Squamata's effect to go off. So, Squamata's effect will activate. You can send whatever you need to the graveyard. So in this instance, we're going to send Hedgehog. Hedgehog's effect will go after Cobra's effect. So Cobra's effect will go off. Adding you... Uh, let's add Brilliant Fusion. We're adding Brilliant Fusion. Then, due to the fact we still don't have Shadow Fusion, which you sometimes don't really need, you're going to have to be Brilliant Fusion and go off from there. So, like, you'll go off. And send that. I'm sending Damage Juggler this time. As well as Garnet. By playing Brilliant Fusion. And then Brilliant Fusion, everybody knows this effect. It allows you to Special Summon Gemini and Seraphonite. So we're going to Special Summon Seraphonite. Uh, above Prime Plant of Scorpio. Keep in mind, you still have uh, these two in hand. Sterl as well as Buckle, so we'll search on the beginning. Let's, room. Let's move these guys out the way. Let's put this game here. So, yeah, that was on the board. Then you're going to activate Damage Juggler's Effect. We're going to move out the way to add. You're not adding Hat Trigger. You're going to add Trick Hop. Then I'm going to activate Starfinite's effect to get additional orbs on. Then I'm going to activate uh, Disturdo's effect to pay half by targeting Cobra, the special summon. Now the reason why I did that is because uh, we're going to be going for a little bit more link compost very soon. We're going to link away with 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm going to link away with... Not that. I'm going to link away with... Not that one. I'm going to go with the Trick Clown. Link with these four. Two special summon. So you just Gold Dread. Now, we'll be chaining because of Trick Clown's effect. So we'll chain. 
to special summon Trickon. Then we'll get Sayuja's effect to draw four. So let's shuffle the deck. Because sometimes your opponent will cut. Then you get Sayuja's Scorcher's effect to draw one, draw two, draw three, and draw four. And you have to put back three cards. So in this instance, we don't really need the Black Elsa so drawn for the beginning, so we're going to put him back. We don't really need the Felice, so we're going to put him back. And we don't really need the Lumina at this instance, in my perspective. So I'm going to put back uh, all three of them. That's pretty good. And then we're going to play a Lord Darkness. Draw one, and draw two, and then we'll banish the dark, so we're going to banish uh, the Strudel from our hand. Now we go to grip. There you go. Not bad. We're getting there. Activate Torch Light Brigade. One, two, three. It doesn't really matter about any of that. So we're going to search out that Lumina that we just placed right back in the bottom of the deck. We're going to add Lumina to our hand. And then there we go. We got those two in our hands. Then we're gonna activate Sayuja's effect to special summon Luna. Activate Luna's effect to discard special summon Raiden. Now from here, what I would usually do is I'm going to do is Ooh, this is a tough choice to go on. I can go for a lot of things right now, actually. Let's go ahead and single with these two. Maybe not. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to single with those two. We're going to special summon F.A. Don Drexter. Then we're going to overlay these two. For Minerva. Then we're going to activate Minerva's effect. Let me shuffle real quick. One, two, Three. Okay, so we don't get no mill effects. Sometimes that happens with the deck. Let's see what we'll draw. Oh, we drew Monster Born. That's okay. Now, really, we don't have no Link Monster in the graveyard to get more card effects. Uh, so we drew Monster Born. That's fine. What we're going to do is. What can we do right now, actually? Let's see. Let's see. Sometimes you end up boards like this. Sometimes you won't. Um, Boiler Savage would be very, very amazing right now, but there's certain extents where we can't summon that just right this instant. We could if we needed to. Just summon maybe like you know, Boiler Lord Drag or we could summon Boiler Lord uh, Dragon because it only takes three effect monsters. Uh, we could use Monster Reborn, Special Summon, and go on from there, but we don't have many monsters to uh, manipulate in the graveyard right now. So what we will do here is... Hmm... Yeah, sometimes you'll have a board like this. Which is not bad, because you have... Uh, Negation fodder for spell traps. You'll have Minerva, plus you have a resources in hand that you can help you go on from there. But you guys can see down below here that the main two, the main cards you want to see in your hand usually is uh, Pryoplant Scorpio, or yeah, Scorpio and one monster discard. No matter what, that can get you from where you need to be. 
at any given moment at any given time. Um, now that's it for uh, my 60 card Lightworn Shadal deck. And I hope you guys really do enjoy this. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think uh, and what kind of changes you think guys think I should do for my deck. Uh, give me some ideas. I would love it when you guys comment down below and give me some ideas about that, about my deck. Uh, mainly with the combos. Mainly, uh, give me some ideas what kind of cards you guys think I should run in the deck. I am thinking of running uh, Block Dragon uh, in the deck once I get my hands on a couple copies. Uh, I'm also thinking of playing a few other Earth targets into the deck, uh, into the deck to maybe boost up the consistency of someone out curious a little faster. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I will be coming with you guys a couple more updates for the different binders. <laughs> Excuse me there. Uh, I will be trying to come up with different um, binder checks and a couple other decks that I'm tempting on uh, uploading videos for. And I hope you guys do enjoy that. I'm also going to show you guys a small little update I've done to my hero build. Because I've tested out a few combos and such. And I'm going to be more willing to show you guys uh, my hero deck profile. I will be coming out with a small update later on this week, as well as I hope you guys enjoy the deck that I currently just showed you today. I, it, yet again, it is early in the morning, so I hope you guys do enjoy this. I um, hope you guys do enjoy this deck profile, and uh, like, comment, subscribe. Dragon Rockstar is signing out.